Hey guys, Nerdy Hatter here. Today they released the second official Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, and I gotta say it's a pretty sweet trailer. I really enjoyed it. If you guys notice me looking down, it's uh, I'm looking at uh, some points that I want to bring up about what I thought about the trailer, so that I can accurately represent how I feel about it. Uh, first off, I love how much better the suit looks. The practical suit makes it so much better. You see little intricate details. It really elevates how the so suit looks on screen. Much better than it did on in Civil War, where it looked all gummy, and I really didn't like it. I love the design, but I didn't like how it translated on screen in full CGI in Civil War. Uh, there was this hilarious scene where Ned Leeds, Peter Parker's best friend, asked if he could try on the suit, and I thought that was just hilarious. It was very funny, and uh, Peter lets him try on the mask, and he's just like, this is badass, and who wouldn't react like that if Spider-Man let you try on his mask? We would all think that's pretty badass. Um, you see more of Michael Keaton's Vulture, and that was really cool to see, because in the first trailer, you just get a few glimpses of him, a few quick shots. We got one cool master shot of him in with his Vulture suit, and that was pretty awesome, but in here, you get a little bit more story beats as to uh, who he is and what his motivations are, and that's really, really awesome. I think Michael Keaton's going to kill it as the Vulture, and we actually see him talking directly to Spidey, and it looks like he's going to have a cool character dynamic with him. You get more of the story of why Tony Stark is in the film and why Peter is later seen in his homemade suit. Uh, another thing, the Iron Man CGI in this also looks better than in Civil War. I don't know what it was with Civil War, but the CGI for Marvel seemed to kind of downgrade in that. Uh, Tony Stark looked like a floating head whenever his helmet was down and I really didn't like that. But in this, it looks like his CGI is much better. It looks a bit more clean, it looks like metal again, it looks less like computer generated uh, suit. Uh, I love Tony's line when he's talking to Peter about taking the suit back from him. He says, I wrote it down because I can't remember things well, if you're nothing without this suit then you shouldn't have it. And I think that sets up the storyline of Peter Parker trying to prove himself to Tony Stark really really well. And it shows that Spider-Man doesn't need uh, tar- eh, tar Tony Stark's fancy tech to be who he is and I think that's why they strip him of the high-tech suit in this because a lot of people thought oh Spider-Man's gonna depend on all this technology from Tony Stark and that's gonna make him not the Spider-Man we know and love who depends on his own intellect and all that and that is why we see him downgraded back to his homemade suit in this movie and I actually think that's a really good idea on the filmmakers part and I think it looks pretty cool and I know a few cosplayers out there who are very happy that the homemade suit is in this movie because it's a cheap easy cosplay for them to do to where they could be Tom Holland Spider-Man. Another thing about this trailer is we see a lot more action. It's a bit it's a bit more action packed than the first trailer was and that's really cool because we get to see what kind of scale the fighting and the set pieces, sorry, are going to have in this in this film. So I really enjoyed this trailer. If you guys did too, tell me down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this video and as always you guys, nerdy hatter out.